Okay, today we're going to do a Garmin install on the flat boat. We got a UHD 74 CV unit, 7 inch screen, and we got a 3M stern pad to mount the transducer to on the boat. All right, first thing we're going to do is bolt the transducer bracket to its base. Okay, for now I'm just going to snug them up. Then we get our transducer bracket. So for this you put the flat washer in the rubber washer. Come through the left side. I'm sorry, right to left. And you put the nut on. It's a permalock nut and it had Loctite on the uh, thread. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll just snug this for now. And we'll figure out which side of the boat we want to mount it on and how we want to run our cable. All right, the next thing we're going to do is figure out which side of the boat we want to mount it on with this 3M pad. So since our propeller turns clockwise, we want to mount it on the starboard side of the boat. It's got to be 15 inches away from the prop. This will give us about 20 inches between 15 to 20. Over here, the only other spot is too close to the edge of the boat, constant turbulence. And then underneath, we'll put it right here. We'll split it right between these two ribs. So we'll try to have the transducer right here. So once we decide where to mount it, outline where that pad goes, and then we'll buff this real good with a Scotch-Brite. We finish buffing this. All right, so I'm taking acetone and a lint-free rag and I'm wiping down real, real good where I buffed to make sure all that residue is off the boat. We'll get a good stick with our 3M pad. I'll let that dry for a minute and then I'll stick the pad on. So sticking the pad on, put a little pressure on it. That's there for life. All right, I put some tape for a drill stop on my drill bit and I drilled two holes that I had already marked and I'm going to tighten them up with the screws on the transducer. So what I'll do is I'll get these two snug. Got it? Okay, so now I'll take this piece of wood and I'll push it up against the bottom of the boat to where the transducer lines up flush, dead against it. And tighten the screws. I got these two real tight. Now that I got the transducer lined up with the board, I can go ahead and tighten this one. And this holds its position. That's good, it's locked. So now we're pulling the transducer line slack heading toward the console. And it says to keep it away from electrical if possible, but there's a bazillion electrical components on this boat. Okay, a little more. All right, that's good for now. All right, so we run electrical fish tape through where we want the cable to run and come up on this end. Now he's going to pull it through slowly, and I'm going to feed it, making sure we don't stress the cable. So go ahead. Okay, go nice and slow. Go ahead. I'm going, just going slow. Yeah. Hang on one second. Yeah, take your time. Try to adjust these, these cables are kind of tight in this spot. Making sure we got good slack everywhere. We're not, not skinning the cable up on anything. Got it? Okay, cool. So what we'll do is we'll pull all the slack to this end. 
So when we started to run that through, I flagged the ends of the tape to where it's easy to untape. And then we'll start back at the back of the boat by the transom, fastening the cable off. And we'll have it all the way to here. So now we're going to go through and pull our slack and get our cable all situated. So once I got my transducer mounted, I used the little 3M wire loom stick-ons and I got it secured all the way up the transom. Then I'm running it down the fuel line side away from other electrical and tie wrapping it. All right, now we've drilled our holes to mount our swivel base and we drilled a hole and put a rubber grommet through to run our power cables through. So we use the hole saw on a drill and then put a grommet to protect the cables once they're done. So we're wrapping the Garmin cable up through here. We'll come up through the grommet. We'll coil up and tie wrap the excess off for now. All right, we used the test line and found out the power side of the bus bar. Then we cramped a, then we crimped a few little wire ends onto the end of the power cable, and he's hooking them up to the bus bars now, powering it up. All right, the power just hooks into the back and screws down and locks. And for the for the Garmin, you put this little O-ring on it for the actual feed power to this. Slide it in. And then you snap these two pieces on the back side of it. Tighten it up just like a just like a screw. Can't get that last. There we go. So we put the O-ring in and then we tighten it up. Snap it together and tighten it up. Drum roll please. It's, it's in the box. Yeah, probably. Oh no, somebody stole the unit already. Okay, let's see if we got this right. <laughs> it turned on. Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs> All right. Ooh, wee. Echo Map HD 74 CV. Loading maps. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> I know, it makes me wonder. <laughs> Something's gotta happen. What the heck? You should sit down like you're driving. All right, he's gonna go through the setup now. United States, English. That's the store demonstration. She's okay to put this up the basic functions. We'll try that for the first time. She's okay to set up basic functions for the first time. Give you a sailboat, powerboat option. Minimum safe depth for boat, so we'll three, foot. three foot. It'll probably give us an alarm. Shallow water alarm? No, it'll That's go off. I was about to say, I'm going to put no. <laughs> it'll go off all the time on Vertical us. Vertical clearance. Vertical clearances. Maybe we don't go under many bridges. So go we'll 10 say. foot, just in case we have poles up. Collision, Collision alarm, alarm range, 500 feet. Collision t alarm time, two. I guess one minute. And that's us, right on the banks of the Mississippi River. All right. That's good. All right, now all we gotta do is get out on the water and test her out. So got the boat on active track on the Garmin, heading to a fishing spot here tracking where we've been and where we're going. So far I'm liking this. 
So we got to our spot. We went to the traditional fish finder screen and boy, we're marking some fish. So let's see if we can turn these marks into a hit. Boy, there's something big laying on the bottom right here. Wow. So here we are on the split screen with traditional on the left and clear view on the right. Kind of give you an idea of what the sonar looks like. Looks like the bait all left it was in this area. And this view right here is navigation perspective 3D. So all different views, gonna take a while to get used to and see what you like. And this view here is called fishing chart where you can drop markers and it gives you names of the bays and the and the different structure and all. All right, so this is the Garmin on the active track. I can see where I'd get handicapped using this thing. Where it's really gonna come in handy is late fall, early winter when it starts to fog in on you and it's hard to tell where you're actually at, so. I'm gonna get a standard mapping card and uh, as I learn more about this unit, I'll make updates. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.